Order. Order. The eyes to the right, 307. The nose to the left, 226. The eyes to the right, 307. The nose to the left, 226. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. A lock. Point of order, shall leave the House hands read. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's just come to my attention that the Government have tabled a motion for debate on the final day of this Parliament. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's just come to my attention that the Government have tabled a motion for debate on the final day of this Parliament. Parliament, with no notice whatsoever to uh, myself as shadow leader of the House, uh, uh, proposing changes to the way in which the Speaker of this House has elected procedural matters in this House, uh, with no uh, consultation with Her Majesty's loyal opposition, no consultation with the Chair of the Committee itself for debate in only one hour tomorrow. Um, is this uh, in order, Mr Deputy Speaker, and do you believe that the procedures of this House should be banded around in government in this way, that we should have surprises uh, de uh, delivered to us in this manner uh, on the last day of the first ever fixed-term Parliament, which attempts to influence results of the first thing that will happen in the next parliament with no chance for large numbers of people who had no knowledge that this was happening to participate. Yeah. 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 What I can say to the Shadow Leader of the House is that it is a matter, a business matter for the government, as is well aware, and this is rightly or wrongly whichever the House may decide, but it was actually agreed to yesterday, as I understand it, and as we know, all business house is decided by the government, not by the chair. So it's not a matter for the chair. Well, further points of order. Some other people have been waiting. Is it to this relevant? OK, Kevin Brennan. Further point of order. Uh, normally, I an assiduous attender, as you know, Mr Deputy Speaker, at business questions. I was unable to attend last week. Was this announced last week at business questions? If it wasn't announced, could you tell the tender, as you know, Mr Deputy Speaker, at business questions, I was unable to attend last week, was this announced last week at business questions? If it wasn't announced, could you tell us, Mr Deputy Speaker, when you and Mr Speaker were informed uh, that this motion was to be laid down? It's a business motion that was agreed yesterday, but not the terminology... I presume. What I can say to you is, Mr Speaker's not in the chair, so I don't know when he was personally told. I was told about five minutes ago when I came into the chair. No, no, which is correct. It's a business. So, but, Mr Doherty, we're trying to deal with this. We've got a lot of other points of order which do matter. John Smart. Point of order, Mr Deputy Speaker. We've had some slightly strange events on the budget with ministers speaking from that dispatch box from the Treasury bench, which my understanding was always the government spoke from there, but speaking from parties. Can we be clear, is this motion a motion of the government and has therefore been signed off by the coalition partners, or is it a motion from the Conservative Party? <laughs> Look, we're going to areas that's not a matter for the chair, but this is agreed business of the government. That answers that. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Is it in order for a member from a select committee which has experienced a serious leak and a possible breach of privilege in this House to then raise that leak, as, again, as happened today with a question of PMQs from the member for Bristol North West, thus exacerbating the situation the committee has found itself in? I would be grateful to have your advice, Mr Deputy Speaker. For, for, I was going to... Thank you, Mr Deputy. Further to the point of order of my honourable friend for Worsley and Eccles South, um, other members of the Health Select Committee are also affected, and the member for Bristol North West has openly leaked the private considerations of a Health Select Committee. What action can be taken immediately? Please? And just say so we are raising a matter, and a member is being discussed. I presume the member is aware that it's going to be raised at the point of order. No. 
what action can be taken immediately. And just say so we are raising a matter a member is being discussed. I presume the member is aware that it was going to be raised at the point of order. No. OK, but let me rule. Let, let me rule. Point of order, please, um, Mr Deputy Speaker. Um, further to the points just that, that have been raised by my honourable colleagues from Worsley and Eccles South and Walsall South, I think we, the members of the Health Select Committee, need the Speaker, uh, your, your good self's advice, how members can address the distorted report of events at the private session of the Select Committee without falling foul of the very um, convention which prov uh, these members have all, sorry, let me say, the Conservative members have already been referred to the Liaison Committee um, by, by voting in the Health Select Committee, and here we have it again. How do we defend ourselves? Is there anybody else on this particular matter, Graham? <laughs> For, further to the points of order raised by my, my honourable friends, I, I do think it's an absolute outrage that the member for Bristol North West didn't give us notice uh, that she was raising it. She is subject to a referral. Other select committees have chosen not to publish reports. Exactly. What I can tell you is that I'm sure that you are aware that Mr Speaker has sent a letter to the Chair of the Select Committee. What I can also inform you with that it is not a matter for the Chair. It is a matter for the Committee. And I know that there will be a new Parliament, but there will all be, also be a new Committee that can look into the matter. So, unfortunately, as I say, it is not a matter for the Chair. Right, that's right. OK, we now come to motion number three on prevention and suppression of terrorism. Minister